Right, exactly. What's going on, everybody? It's Webster Style and Brian Sapp here from the NRW Checkpoint. And we have an uh, interesting, curious game uh, that we're going to react to, and that's Disney Mirrorverse. And the only Mirrorverse that, well, actually two Mirrorverses I'm uh, <laughs> familiar with, that's the Star Trek Mirrorverse. You know, that has <laughs> and, whatnot. and then, obviously, in The Flash, you have uh, Mirror Master and his Mirrorverse. So, I don't know what Disney Mirrorverse is about. You have any idea, Brian? Um, no, but I guess um, I mean Doctor Strange has his mirror realm as well. That's true. So maybe it's something along those lines. Who knows? It's Disney. They have budgets, all of the technology in the world. So it could literally just be a mirror. We never know. Let's right. find out. All right, let's find out. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. Beyond oh. the worlds familiar to you, there exists another Monster. born of powerful <laughs> stellar magic. Say what? A universe <laughs> reflected no, from the familiar, oh, okay. yet different. I see what they're doing. Perilous, the mirrorverse. <laughs> At its center lies the because stellar like mirror, with player. malevolent okay. forces like seeking that. to shatter its power. Is this an MMO? Guardians stand together, united against this unrelenting threat. As the darkness closes in, he's coming out. All must fight to protect the mirrorverse and okay. save all the worlds beyond. Okay, I get it. Okay, so it's an MMO yes. mobile game. Okay. Yes. So. Mm. The game, the, the gameplay is what's gonna be key here. I need to know what's going on because this is a dope trailer. Um, I seen Sully in there. This is from Monsters University, Disney Pixar property. Um, I can't name the girl. I feel like she's from that was Bell. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Okay, Bell from and... Beauty and the Beast. Shout out to um the Disney of the original years, and Maleficent makes a glorious entrance does not well she did cast some magic but yeah she made the save yeah, yeah. I, I don't know i'm just i'm not a big mobile gamer and that's I for hate, mobile yeah oh yeah exactly okay. exactly <laughs> i have i have a, a complete collection of i want to say two mobile games <laughs> and <have> um, <laughs> right like, I don't know. Mobile gaming is it's escaping me. I feel like if you don't play on a tablet, like it's a, kind of a shot in the foot because like the smaller games like a Candy Crush or whatever, those are fun. Pass yeah. the time on your phone. I'm waiting at the DMV or something stupid like that. But these kind of like in-depth games, you kind of need a, a iPad or yeah tablet or something i'm not up for all the grinding and like loot boxes and microtransactions and i i yeah. listen to some other podcasters and they talk about their mobile gaming and, and it's like a job <laughs> the amount of things right. you got to do to keep up with i'm like no <laughs> no it really is like and that's part of the reason i only have two and the two that one of them is not even, I don't even consider that a mobile game. I literally learn on there. It's about, I'm trying to learn Spanish. So that's all I do. It's not a game, game then. But It's a learning but, tool. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the other game, uh, Marvel Strike Force, that is by far the best mobile game I've ever played. Again, Marvel does not disappoint. They don't miss. And um, I don't know. I, I guess it's okay to talk about because they are owned by Disney now. But um. Whatever this game is, I mean, the trailer looks good, like I said, but I need yeah. to understand what the gameplay is about. Microtransactions, mobile gaming is responsible for that. Like, yep. period. There's no, there was nothing about mobile transactions being on console until 
mobile games started making like millions and billions of dollars just selling people skins and customizations and then right 2K was like, oh, yeah, let's do it for basketball players. So yeah, it's like, 2K oh, went wild with that BS. <laughs> right. Straight up. I mean, it's been around for a minute, but 2, 2K, oh, man, 2K. Especially the last <laughs> generation. They, they just went they went hog wild with microtransactions. I gave up on 2K some time ago because of that. Look, but um, I bought 2K19 when they had it for $3.99. I, I believe I was gifted that game and never opened it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's still in the plastic somewhere in this area, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see the gameplay for that kind of yeah, game. Yeah, I am interested to see what it looks like. I, I will not uh, lie in that regard, but it but, is a mobile game. So right yeah. there for me, I'm like, no. I, and I was <laughs> actually very deflated because I was expecting, okay, it's a you know console game, maybe it's a you know multiplayer. It's like, oh no, it's a mobile game. Like, oh, come on. How many mobile games do you need? Like seriously. Uh, apparently, you need a bunch because Apple Arcade and whatever's well, on Android phones for their arcade game pay, gaming or whatever. Like, uh, well, let me rephrase that. The mobile games where it's like uh, Marvel Strike Force or mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings or um, uh, Looney Tunes, whatever that game is, where you constantly have to go in to unlock characters and to really mm-hmm. grind and doing raids and like those sort of things that require a player to really log on daily. It's one thing where you you get your you know little mobile game you play like Cut the Rope. And I know I'm dating myself in that <laughs> regard no. as far as Cut no, the Rope. Cut the Rope is a classic. It, it is, but I'm saying that's. <laughs> Like I did, I haven't played mobile games like that since Windows Phone Seven. Okay, yeah. like in so it's been a minute for me since I actually like I've downloaded like I downloaded that Walking Game, Walking Dead game they had on Android and this and that. Like that was cool, but again, okay. that's another game that you have to go in daily. Yeah, to do these and like I'm not logging onto a mobile game daily. Look, Instagram is enough on my phone that I log into daily to do whatever right. I need to do. A mobile game, again, this is me. There are a lot of the people that were like, oh, yes, a Disney mobile game. And I'm pretty sure they're excited. I'm not one of those people. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, the only reason I'm interested in seeing the gameplay is so I can understand the game. Right. Like, I get it. You have... Uh, we have characters that are, you know, pretty well known from the Disney universe coming into this mirror verse, like fighting the evils of the mirror verse. I don't know. Right. Like, what is the game? Is it a MOBA? Is it um, RPG? Like, is it turn based? Like, what what is the game actually going to do? Because right. I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want to play a game that looks like it would be perfect for a switch on my phone. Right, exactly, exactly. Which, and I, I totally agree with you on that one. And can we can we brought up Marvel Strike Force or whatever? Like, you do have to log into that game every day and play it. I'm a part of an alliance in the game and everything. But the the fun part about it is, if you don't want to spend money, you don't have to. It's definitely right. free to play. It's free to download. They do. They hit you every couple of seconds with a nice, hey, if you pay four, $4.99, you can get all this shit. You don't have to do all this other stuff. But I like the grind of the game. There's over 100 different Marvel characters in the game. They do a really good job at backstories and tying these characters together so that they have team synergy and shit like that. Like, right. it's, a really, it's a really thought out game. And it's turn-based like Pokemon. I think that's the reason I gave it the chance. Got so you. I'm curious like what is the mirror verse yeah. gonna be like let let's hope that um the developer if it's not the same one as marvel strike force is a similar one uh about it. <laughs> so that it, well, you, you never know i mean it's still all di- under disney so they may have a contract who knows i don't know mm-hmm. but the one thing about the mirror verse though it does allow for variations multiple variations of mm-hmm. the same character which i'm sure will offer varying styles of gameplay um as well yes. and it's something they could mine um i would say in perpetuity because they always make slight changes to characters uh whether it's power skins or what have you and either to unlock or to sell so from a, a business perspective it, it sounds like a good plan to make money it's just from a yeah. gamer's perspective it's just like oh not again right 
What am I doing? What it looked like now that you said that we aiming at the kids once again. This is going to be Fortnite all over again. The kids are going to go crazy because this is that's how Fortnite started out. It was like, oh, it's doing great right. on mobile, and the kids are spending all their money. The parents can't keep track of their credit cards, <laughs> and boom. <laughs> we ended up on consoles and right. now Fortnite is like a staple in the gaming world. So right. we'll see. We shall see. We, that everything you said is true. It does have that that uh, propensity to be a game where it, like, oh, we have different characters, like variations of these characters. Marvel Strike Force does the same thing. They have right. to the, the evil Doctor Strange is coming to the game uh, once once the movie comes out. Oh, I'm Lord. There's going to be so many Doctor Strangers, I'm sure, after that movie. That's <laughs> right. Ridiculous. I'm like, because, listen, there's like seven Spider-Men well, in, in Marvel Strike Force. But we're not. This, I believe this it. Different game. That's a different game. I believe it. But <laughs> um, on that note, Brian, where can everybody find you? I, you know, you know where to find me, y'all. Just if you want to hear me talk about, other, you know, more games, music, TV. This is my podcast for the blurs over here. And then us, this is what you're watching now. Make sure, you know, like, subscribe. Right. And then this thing here is the at, because he asked me where you can find me at. So that's Twitter and Instagram. And um, if you find me anywhere else, you know what I'm saying? Just be nice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well always nice brian and of course i am webster style the man the voice of fragrance you can find me at websterstyle.com and there you will also find them also in addition to spotify apple play podcast all of those places uh the sartorian geek podcast by webster style a weekly podcast uh that where we talk about comic books bow ties and everything in between and of course we are nerds and this is nerds rule the world be sure to follow us on twitter at the nrw follow us on instagram at new release wednesday and of course you're on youtube so like share and of course subscribe and click that bell so you get notifications true